Thank you so much. Now we had, we've had a, a, not only uh, institutions like Walmart, but we've also been able to enjoy the partnership of an incredible amount of uh, organizations across the country who have helped make this event so special. One of those organizations is Forward.us. And our next speaker has been active with their, their network. And Forward.us has joined uh, institutions like the Partnership for New American Economy, the National Hispanic Christian Leadership Conference, the National Association of Evangelicals, Sojourners, and so many others as members of our host committee. But Jesus Loya has an incredible story. And I'm not going to tell it for him because you know he, he is himself. And he's a leader in his own right. But it is a story that I think grounds why we're here but also why we need a fixed immig uh, uh, an immigration system that meets the needs of a 21st century. So Jesus is the manager in, of investment and operations at Park City Angel Network in Utah. And he's, you know, he's just been an incredible leader, but he also has a history on this issue that I think uh, really sheds light, again, on the needs for reform. Jesus. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Jesus Loya. I'm from Salt Lake City, Utah. I'm, I'm happy to be here. Uh, I graduated from the University of Utah uh, with an honors degree in electrical engineering. I also earned an MBA and a master's in electrical and computer engineering. And now I manage a group of uh, 74 private investors. We focused in uh, early stage venture capital. I'm also a single father. I have a, an eight year old uh, boy. And um, my, my American story is, um, is one of hard work and perseverance, but it's not unique. And I want to share with you what it was like to navigate through the complex world of living, or both, you know, living in the shadows and being granted opportunities to fulfill my dreams. I feel compelled to share it on behalf of the million of inspiring young Americans like me, who want to give back to the only country that we know and we love. I came to the United States from Mex Mexico as a child. I was placed in a, in a lower grade because when I first came here, I didn't speak English. And I took this as a challenge. And after three months, I was able to skip a grade and graduate high school at the age of 16 while working two jobs to support myself and pay the bills. After high school, I wanted to join the Marines. And I'll never forget the day when my dreams of serving this country were chattered by a call that I received from my recruitment officer. I was told that I could not join and serve this country because my social security was invalid. It was then when I realized that my options in this country were limited. When able to serve my country, unable to go to, uh, to go to college, and I felt completely powerless about, my, about in determining my future. In 2002, the Utah State Le uh, Legislature passed uh, a bill called the uh, HB 144, um, allowing uh, people like me uh, to be eligible for in-state tuition. By that time, I had saved about $25,000 to pay for my first few years of school. And that's when I started going to the University of Utah to um, pursue a dream that I had as a child of becoming an engineer. My son was born while I was studying. And I had to drop out of college so I can provide um, and take care of him. But as a father, I knew that I wanted to provide a better future for him. So I went back to school and finished my degree in 2010. That same year. I watched with great anticipation and hope as the U.S. Congress debated my future. I was heartbroken that the DREAM Act didn't pass. But I didn't let it stop me. I continued my education, and within 21 months, I went back to school and received my advanced STEM degree and an MBA. I now work in venture capital. I love what I do. Every day, I facilitate the dreams of entrepreneurs who are building amazing technology, are creating jobs in the private sector, and are contributing to the economy. One company that I'm particularly proud, proud of, it's a company that over the last 15 months has been able to hire 17 people 
and they have plans to add nine more jobs by the end of this year. I consider myself as an American, but on, on paper, I am not. I have two STEM degrees and an MBA. I've been paying taxes since I started working back in 1998. My son and my sister, they're U.S. citizens. My parents and my two other sisters, they have their green cards. I currently have a work permit and I'm wearing, waiting for a USCIS to give me an answer on my EB2 uh, petition. But yet, my, my future in this country is still unclear because of the outdated immigration system that we have. And that's why I'm here in, in Washington, D.C. Because I'm not going to sit on the sidelines. And in Utah, back in Utah, I'm very active with Forward U.S. and the Dream Is Now campaign so that you know we can get more people like me you know to tell their stories and we can also you know get people to continue pre you know to to take you know an action and press our members of congress to take an action on this in, on this issue and finally finally pass an immigration reform that is you know long overdue um and we need you know so bad whether it's in my whether it's in the eyes of my son or in the business plan of an entrepreneur that I'm advising. America is full of hope and promise. And I believe that comprehensive immigration reform is necessary to solidify this promise. I hope all of you join me and make sure that, that it happens. Thank you all for your time. Appreciate it. Thank you, Jesus. And, um, I want to just underscore what, what Jesus has just done. He shared his story. So many of us here today are, are advocating for our friend, our coworkers, our friends, our families, and that's hard. But to be up here and to advocate for yourself and for your family uh, is, takes a special kind of courage. And so I really want to thank you again. Please. And again, I, I just want to list, uh, uh, thank the, the hosts, our co-hosts for this event, uh, Business Forward, Americans for Tax Reform, Sojourners, the Coalition for Western, uh, the Conference of Western uh, Attorneys General, Forward.us, the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, the National Hispanic Christian Leadership Conference, the National Hispan or Association of Evangelicals, and then finally, the Partnership for New American Economy. And again, thank you very much for helping make today so, so special and such an important moment.